sorted, it's all about quick, simple, tasty grub to cook with your mates. And if you want to check out loads of our recipes, check out our channel. But we thought it's important to come to somebody's house to cook first hand and show them how to do it. Yeah, so we're cooking for a real person in a real flat in a kitchen that's just so cool like this video blogger, Charlie! Hey, there I go. Good, <laughs> as if from nowhere. Hello, welcome to my kitchen. Nice kitchen. So, if you had a choice, what would you want to cook at home? Well, my choice would be to cook burgers. Burgers? Uh, yeah, kind of like really big, kind of tasty, big, thick burgers. Wholesome, like kind of, chunky. Yeah. Fantastic, that's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to do our very own salted burger with a twist. We're going to do inside out burgers. How about that? Inside out. Yeah. What with the burgers on the outside and the bun? No, no, no. Imagine instead of putting the slice of cheese on top, we're going to kind of bury it inside the meat. So you've got the cheese inside the meat. So that's what we're going to do. Sound cool? Okay. Yeah, sounds nice. We've got a few simple ingredients. So I'll show you exactly what we have to do to get through this. We've got our beef mince and our flavour. So first things first, an onion. Mm -hmm. So just grate the, uh, the onion there. Sure, okay. It will kind of go a little bit mushy, but that's not a problem because we just kind of want an onion puree, really. Yeah, I am much better at grating stuff than chopping stuff, so this is okay, good. Fine. So why burgers? I just, I don't know, I don't have burgers very often, especially not in my flat. Ever since I moved out, I really want to just be able to, you know, have nice burgers because my mum is a vegetarian and doesn't do ah, nice big burgers so either. You don't, so when you're at home, you don't tend to have much meat at home. So this, this will be a turning point for me. Fantastic. I'm going to just put some parsley here as well, so we've got some nice fresh flavours. So I'm going to put the parsley and my chopped onion in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, did you catch yourself? I, I didn't. I didn't cut myself. No. I think we've probably got enough there. Actually, it's looking good. Okay, cool. Now, while your hands are a little bit oniony and messy, you can get even more messy. Get your hands into that. And start mixing it through. Mustard as well. Yep, you've, you've seen it ahead of the, ahead of the game there. I'm going to put that in there. Cool. Mix that in and the seasoning. It's very. Yep. What kind of mustard is this? Because I don't usually like mustard, but it's not so strong. Smell that. Right, if you get an English mustard, it's really strong, kind of makes your eyes water when you open a new jar. This is slightly more subtle, it's a French mustard, Dijon mustard. Okay. Really nice in these. Yep. Hands in. Hands in. Right. Get messy. Let's it all together. Oh. How's that feel for you? Feeling good? Uh, that feels weird. That is a carnivore's dish right there. <laughs> this is our Swiss cheese, because this is the oozy inside out bit. So we're going to take some big chunks of cheese. Yeah. Take the rind off. This is quite therapeutic, actually. <laughs> <laughs> like a stress ball. Yeah, a little bit. It's like a meaty dough. Okay. It's making its own cool. noises. I don't need to make sound effects for it. <laughs> right. Now, next bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. Grab yourself about a tennis ball size. Kind of mush them together, and then take a bit of cheese, mm -hmm. kind of a block of cheese, and push him down into the burger, and then kind of seed him over the top. You want that cheese to be really sealed in. So that will make it quite a big, thick thing. Yeah, you'll get kind of like a lump of cheese in the middle. Let's go in. I suppose if you wanted to even out the cheese, you could always do two thinner slices okay. across the burger if you want. Oh, that's good. Yeah? All right. Can so you a block? I'll do that. A block. block. Kind of like... This is going to be a lot of cheese. Right. Maybe put more meat on the top. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Make it as big as you like. My idea was to have less cheese in, but I mean, that's not what's happened now. Mine, <laughs> mine's definitely going to be the cheesiest, like a cheesy tennis ball of some sort. Mm. So pop these into our pan. Beautiful, it's in there nicely. Turn them over, Get some nice colour on one side, mm -hmm. but obviously still completely raw in the middle. Mm. So we can do like that. So these are going to go into our hot oven. Obviously make sure no plastic candle can just take otherwise. It's about 200 degrees for 10 or 15 minutes when we cook them right way through. Melt the cheese. In the meanwhile, we'll get the salad ready. And that's it. Inside out burgers, ready to go. Lovely. I can't wait to eat them. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, one's leaked a bit. Just a little bit. Oh, She's oozing good. slightly. That one's mine. That's the big one. Big one. Okay, we'll go for that one. Mind the handle. Don't touch that. Still do red hot. Okay, so we've got some chia batter bun there. Mm -hmm. You can put some mayo on, but to be honest, there's so much cheese and meaty juices, I don't think you need it. Plus a tomato. A bit of cosmetics and our lid. And I'll tell you what, Charlie. That is one tall burger. That's one impressive burger. Oh, that. Inside out. So dive in. Let us know what you think. Okay. <laughs> okay. Get ready. All right. In three. Oh, oh there's lots of dribble. Oh. <laughs> That's proper meaty juice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> so if you do want to create an awesome chunky burger, then I reckon that's it. It's our inside out burger, sorted. 
Zoe. That's nice, actually. Not yeah, really. Come on. <laughs>